So one of Ghana's MPs, Sam George, he warns that America will not force LGBTQ agenda down our throats. And he said this in an interview. I want you to check it out and we'll have a discussion afterwards. We are entitled to your opinion. The same way I hold the opinion that she and the American government are a bunch of cowards. But it's the hypocrisy of the US where they call homosexuality a human rights issue in Africa. But yet they are doing business with countries where homosexuality is frowned upon. Over a billion dollars of, 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 of military hardware is sold to Qatar almost on a yearly basis. In Qatar, homosexuality is punished by death not imprisonment. Why are they not threatening Qatar? One of the biggest trading partners of the United States government is Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is punished by death. Why are they not threatening them? Why are they not threatening Russia? Then they come to Ghana and Africa and they want to come and threaten us with LGBTQ. The American government is a bunch of hypocrites. If they really... That's a valid question, actually. I think I've raised that question before in one of my videos. Um, yeah, why don't you... You know, if not even threatening, why don't you question Qatar? I don't think I've seen any video or any UN summits where Qatar was questioned or Saudi Arabia was questioned. And a lot of people would say, oh, because it's a Muslim kingdom or Muslim states and that's why they don't question them. Well, if that is the case, it means the values of the people or the law there is representative of the values of the people. And that should be the same case in Ghana. If you won't question them there, then why are you questioning Ghanaians for doing this? Because we just saw in a recent video where somebody said that more than half of Ghanaians want this bill and like this bill. Want to flex their muscle. They should go and flex their muscle on Russia, India, China, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain. <laughs> You can flex your muscles there. And let me be clear about where we stand. First of all, for the American press who are here, you know that a great deal of, of work in my career has been to address human rights issues, equality issues across the board, including as it relates to the LGBT community. And I feel very strongly about the importance of supporting uh, the, the, the freedom and, and supporting and fighting for equality among all people and that all people be treated equally. I will also say that uh, this is an issue that we consider and I consider to be a human rights issue and that will not change. So thank you for the question. First of all, we don't have any such legislation here in Ghana. A bill has been proposed to the Parliament of Ghana which has all kinds of ramifications which has now been considered by the Parliament. It hasn't been passed, so the statement that there is legislation in Ghana to that effect is not accurate. No legislation. The bill is going through the parliament. It's going through the parliament. The Attorney General has found it necessary to speak to the committee about it regarding the constitutionality otherwise of several of its provisions, and the parliament is dealing with it. At the end of the process, I will come in. But in the, in the yeah, the president has to sign it. So if the president doesn't sign it, then there's no bill. Meantime, the parliament is dealing with it. And I have no doubt that the parliament of Ghana will show, as it's done in the past, one, first of all, its sensitivity to human rights issues, as well as to the feelings of our population, and will come out with a responsible response. Harris is entitled to her opinion, the same way you're entitled to your opinion, the same way I hold the opinion that she and the American government are a bunch of cowards you know, and that they have no rights to talk about human rights because they're the biggest abusers of human rights. Child rights are equally human rights. And yesterday, two hours after that press conference with the president, a 28-year-old gun woman walked into an American school and killed three American children and killed three American teachers. It's the right, the fundament, one of the fundamental basic rights of any human being is the right to life. <laughs> the American government, in which Kamala Harris is vice president, is failing to take decisive action on gun control. And so people who should not have access to weapons are having access to assault rifles and killing innocent children and teachers in America. And the vice president of that country wants to come and teach us human rights. 
but that is also a concern like he hasn't even stated in this direction but that's a concern right there not the fact that he and um, kamala harris came to ghana to teach them human rights but the fact that there's a lot of all these things going on in your country but then you leave your country without addressing these things and then you come to another country to address their in-house situations like i don't i don't be understanding if i'm a leader my interest my first interest is the interest of my people like anything that is not it's not going to align with helping my people is secondary that's how i think as a leader i've not led in the government or in, a, in a places of authority like that before but i've led in schools i've led in different setting in a church in different settings and my first interest my primary interest is always to the people like the how do you call them the people you're leading so how do you leave them and go to another nation and tell them what to do when this is happening in your country you know like it's mind boggling to me i can't fathom that i mean the irony of it she's a person of color but for being vice president she, what happened to george floyd could easily have happened to her or any of the several people who have been killed in america by errant white policemen which has led to the black lives matter issue if black lives if, if people have to demonstrate to let the american government know that black lives matter they need a, they need help from us. I'm I've, I've stated on record that myself and my colleagues are very willing to engage the American government and the U.S. Congress to help them shape laws that will clamp down on gun violence because they really have need for it. But it's the hypocrisy of the U.S. where they call homosexuality a human rights issue in Africa, but yet they are doing business with countries where homosexuality is frowned upon. Over a billion dollars of, 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 of military hardware is sold to Qatar almost on a yearly basis. In Qatar, homosexuality is punished by death, not imprisonment. <laughs> Why are they not threatening Qatar? One of the biggest trading partners of the United States government is Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is punished by death. Why are they not threatening them? Why are they not threatening Russia? Then they come to Ghana and Africa, they want to come and threaten us with LGBTQ. The American government is a bunch of hypocrites. If they really want to flex their muscle, they should go and flex their muscle on Russia, India, China, Russia, <laughs> Saudi Arabia, Bahrain. <laughs> he called Russia twice. Go and flex it on Russia, Russia. <laughs> called it twice. <laughs> the places where they are selling. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. I feel like this is a major problem a lot of people are having, even in the BRIC summit. This is something I've already stated if you've been on the channel. So the BRIC summits, there were a lot of um, comments by the African leaders to say, or to ask that the hope the BRICS is not going to be like the UN, where they always want to tell other people what to do and interfere in nations' policies or politics. I hope the BRICS won't be like that. And also, the, another comment was, would the BRICS listen to them? You know, because they speak in the UN for years and years and years. They don't have a representation and nothing happens when they speak. So they ask all those questions. And I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. It's pretty interesting because America has their own issues going on. But then they'll be everywhere interfering with them. A lot of other nations. It's questionable why. It's questionable why. Or are you benefiting something that we don't know? You know, let us know, talk to us, explain to us. But anyways, let me know what you think about that video. If there's anything you want to add, correct or critique, feel free to, you know, talk to us, educate us, smash the like button, subscribe, and do all this fun stuff. Share the video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.